Today we are going to show you how to create one of these foundation vent covers. As you can see, it looks very nice and it matches well with our board and batten siding. This foundation cover goes over this metal grate right here, flush to the metal grate, and then it's and then it's uh, finished nailed again so that it's, it's, it's tied to the um, uh, the, bat, the boards for the board and batten. There's some different types of these that we can create, and we created one to match the battens right here. So as you see, it looks it, it looks very seamless. The total cost of the project is about $550, the material is about $300, and the miter saw is about $250. So we'll go ahead and start with step one. First step is to choose the material. There's lots of different materials to choose from. There's hardy, coral, pine, PV, PVC. We chose PVC because it's low maintenance, it's resistance to rot, it can be painted and hold the paint for 15 years. It's great material, and easy to work with. The next step is to choose the width of the material. We chose one and a quarter inches, which is exactly half the width of the batten, which looked really good to us. Now make sure that you select your width before you buy it, because you can have the lumber yard rip down uh, the material to size, now, which was what we didn't do. And we had to actually table saw and rip down the material outside. Now for the tricky part. How it all fits together is that the metal vents sit behind the vent cover. So what you'll need to do is notch out a portion in your vent cover in order to fit over flush the metal vents. So as you can see, what we did here was we notched out a section in order, in order for the metal vent to fit in. The metal vent cover has about a half inch by eight inch thick section uh, for the metal vent. And so that's what we notched out here uh, so that when it sits, it sits over the metal vent, uh, that it's flush for the siding. To make this cut, I constructed a jig on the table saw so that when I ran the board along it, I got the exact groove that I needed. Next step is to miter, uh, the, you, miter your mightier links of PVC. So you can see we've mitered these edges. This is at a 45 angle and they'll all fit in 45 angles to, 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 to this. The final step is to glue your PVC uh, boards together, trim, trim pieces together. As you can see, we used a combination PVC glue and solvent. What you do this is really important to do is when you create these, you glue them together and you lay them down um, with the notch side down. The reason being is because you can wipe down, wipe off the excess glue on this side, and you'll see this side has a smear, and so you don't want the smear exposed. Final step with your completed vent cover, it should look something like this. You'll set this over uh, the siding, you'll use finished nails, your painter will caulk and paint, and it'll look smooth and finished. As you can see, it comes out nice and clean. There you have it.